It's like this word is not meant to get out. But we have to allow God to use us as prophets. We have to allow God to use us as vessels. We have to allow God to continue to be the one to guide us. Yes, the situations might be scary. Yes, if you have questions, ask the questions, but ask them to God directly and allow God to send somebody your way. Whether it's through a dream, whether it's through a vision, or whether it's through another human being. That's part of cutting down that pathway, that forest of God is recognizing who truly has their eyes locked on what God says has your eyes supposed to be locked on. If your eyes are not locked on what God says your eyes are supposed to be locked on, then what can you do that's right? How can you be bold enough to cut down the straight and narrow path that these next generations have to follow? They have to follow where we have been. This is why the children suffer for the sins of their mothers and their fathers because their parents are just leading them down that path. But at a certain point, the children must recognize if their parents are leading them the wrong direction, if the boss is leading the company in the wrong direction. You must recognize that and step away from those things. You have to be the one that's bold enough to step up and say, no, that's not the way it is. God came to set us free. I do have the question of religion. It means to bind us back again. The denomination, that means to break apart. So you have the etymology of the word religion, which means Come on, y'all know what religion means. I've said it a few times, right? To bind back again. The etymology of the word denomination, it means to break apart into many names. But God wants us to be collective. God wants us to be one race, God's race, the human race. God does not want us to be divided into denominations. God does not want us to be divided into religions. God does not want us sectioned off, quartered off. God does not want us boarded off. God wants us all to be one. And that is possible because collectively we do make up YouTube. Now, don't we? We make up social media, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter. I don't care. We make it up as the human race. We truly make the decision as the human race. But can we collectively come together and spread the word of God? Can we collectively come together and ask the questions that need to be asked and receive the answers you need to receive? Are you bold enough to do it? Are you bold enough to tell the devil when the devil looks at you, be gone? Are you bold enough to look evil in the eye and eradicate it? As it looks at you and it flees as pigs fleeing off of a cliff, you have those powers in you. You have all those powers in you. But they lie dormant. They lie dormant inside of you. All those powers you have, they lay dormant. Because you're not asking God to awaken God has a sense of humor. God does. As everybody's using the term woke, 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 woke. God does want us to awaken. God wants us to dig deep within our own selves and pull out the spirit of God and hold it high. Hold it high. That is what God wants us to do because if thine be lifted up, we shall draw all men unto God, all women unto God, all humans unto God. It's up to us. We can't leave it up to a, a church, a pastor, when we are the church. We have to come on social media and show that social media is God's outlet. Social media is God's account. 
Social media is God's center. The human mind is the original supercomputer. It is the original computer of God. It is the super high. It's whatever G they come up with next, and it's then some. We can even use more than 19, 21% of the human mind, most people, because it has a code on it. It has a lock on it. That lock that's on the human mind is God. If you want to tap into the rest of your mind, then you must get to know God. Don't just believe in God. Get to know God. Then you can tap into the rest of your mind. Because that's where God dwells is in the mind, in the heart. Come on now. Y'all know God dwells in the mind. God dwells within the heart. That is where God is meeting us. But are we even going into our own mind? Are we even delving into our own mind to cut down all of the mess so we can stand forth and stand confident and tall as God's nation? To understand that the devil is dead. You spell it back when you have the word lived. I say it all the time. Don't give the devil credit for what God is putting you through. God put Jesus through all that. God put his only begotten son on the cross. So what makes you think you will not suffer? What makes you think you will not go through something that is heart-wrenching? You will not go through any sort of torment. Yes, if Jesus Christ can go through it and survive it. And Jesus said we would. And Jesus said we could. And Jesus said we'll go about and do greater works than what he did. Then come on now. Let's do it. Let's do those greater works that Jesus spoke about. But we must congress with God. We must be in communion with Jesus Christ. And we must always be in conversation and conversion with the Holy Spirit. We must always be. We must always be conversing and in conversion and congressing and communicating. Always with God. We must learn how to be in synchronization with God. Syncing up with your Apple Watch means nothing. Syncing up with Alexa means nothing. God. 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 That's all that matters. Not me. Not you. But God. And to God, you are all that matters. I am all that matters. God doesn't seek a relationship with the angels. No, 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 no. God seeks a relationship with you. God doesn't seek relationships with any other creation. But God seeks one with you and I. That's who God speaks to. That's who God desires to be with is you and I. So we must continue to be bold and speak to God and to the Holy Spirit and to Jesus. Don't just speak to your pastor. Speak to God. No, truly speak to God. Ask God for more. Because in God's forest, it's so much out there. It's so much more to be had. But if you're stuck on your anointment, living your whole life in your anointment, living your whole life in your anointment and your appointment, then that's phenomenal. That's great. That's good for you. Mm -hmm. Great. You're a great believer of God. But if you go through your anointment, your appointment, and you receive your assignment from God, and then God activates you, well, hallelujah, you are right there in the knowing of God. You know God. You know what God can do for you. So if you keep believing in what God can do for you, in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazareth, by way of the grace and the mercy and the power of the Holy Spirit, then you cannot be stopped. You will be able to eradicate all evil. You'll be able to do any and everything that you want to do. Any and everything you want to do. In the powers of God. With a pure heart and a righteous mind, and a pious spirit. Now, 
Let's get that straight. A pure heart, a righteous mind, and a pious spirit. You can't be twisted with God. You can't be that way. It won't work out. You won't go any further in God's forest than the thorns, thistles, and pricks. Be blessed and stay phenomenal. Let us say a prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazareth, our personal Lord and Savior, by way of the grace, mercy, and the power of the ever-loving Holy Spirit, God. We understand that there is forest out there, Father, and we understand that we have to be the one to create that pathway that is straight and narrow, Father. Yes, we follow Jesus, Father, but we must individually carry our own cross, Father, through that forest, Father, and we must go through the pathway, cut down those thorns, cut down the thistles, the pricks, all the serpents of evil, Father. We eradicate, Father. We make evil obsolete, Father. We make evil spirits flee, God, just like Jesus did as pigs off of a cliff, Father, and then we take it a step further, God, yes, we do, because Jesus said we shall go about and do greater works than what he has done and the disciples, God. So that leads me to know that you, God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, have anointed us here on this earth, Father, with power well beyond our measure, God. And I receive it, Father. We accepted God as your nation, one race, God's race, the human race, God. Collectively, Father, we will come together and break the yoke, Father, thanking you for all that you do. Amen, God. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, God, for all you do in the name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth, our personal Lord and Savior, by way of the grace, mercy, and the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember, plan strategically for your life. Our life will strategically plan for you. Be blessed and stay phenomenal. God be with you.